You never know when one story will touch a person's life, and that's what's important to do. My name is Ruth, and this is my story. It was 1929, the beginning of the Depression. Uh, my father died when he was only 38. My uncle became the executor. When I graduated from high school, so they, of course, planned on my going to the University of Illinois. That was the plan. And so she suggested that to my uncle. He said, oh no, Ruthie can't go to college. We're saving it for the boys. Women were not expected to be superior in class or in anything else. But my mother never encouraged that. Always go and do your best and, and push forward, which I did. The one year at Northwestern was a close one for me because of Kappa Delta. People are important to me. Personal friendships meant a great deal. She was from Birmingham, Alabama, a real Southern belle with a lovely Southern accent with long eyelashes. She was a flirt. She was spoiled, altogether different than I did. And we loved each other, and we got along beautifully. They're all gone now, except one person, and she's still a good friend of mine. We knew nobody in Syracuse. We were alone. Where do you go? I called Kappa Delta and said, do they have an alum group here? They were our first friends here in Syracuse. And when the 1960 census here in Syracuse, the Post Standard, the headline said 11,055 illiterates in Syracuse. Not in India or Africa, in my city. I can't believe a life without books. And so reading is very important to me. Prisons in developing countries are horrible. And so I walk into this room and there is about 15 men and they're leaning on this bar, no interest at all. So the first thing I do, I said, ask the men what they like to do best. And they, they looked at me and they said, you're supposed to be teaching. I said, ask them what they like to do best. And the men are shocked because nobody has ever asked them. They're told what to do. Nobody asks them what to do. Uh, ulumi, and that means farming. By this time, all the hands are up. All the men are, they're now excited. So I said, now you know more about farming than I do. You talk about confidence. Here, the students know more than the teacher. Now I said, talk among yourselves and tell me what you think about farming. So all of a sudden, these men who were lackadaisical are now talking in Bombay together and all, and finally they come up with something and translated it and said, farming is important to us because we must eat. I taught them those words. That's called language experience. Now, that's the kind of stories that, that got me. That's why my passion continued wherever I went. Ruth Colvin is a literacy pioneer and one of our nation's most effective ambassadors to the world on the importance of education. This is the White House calling. President Bush would like to honor you with the Medal of Freedom. Then I said, what is the Medal of Freedom? I did not know what that was. Dead silence at the other end. And finally, they explained this is the highest award that can be given to a civilian. She has dedicated her life to helping the less fortunate gain the reading and language skills they need to succeed. The United States honors Ruth Johnson Colvin for her extraordinary efforts to provide hope and opportunity to people everywhere.